In this lesson, I will teach you 11 more English idioms with the word drop. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English used in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will teach you 11 more idioms in English that use the word drop. The first idiom is drop out, which literally means to fall out of something. But as an idiom, it means to quit or stop being part of something, as in it's not good to drop out of school. The second one is drop off, which means to leave something or someone someplace on purpose, not as an accident or a mistake, as in I will drop her off at your house or I will drop the package off at your house. It's not correct to use it without off. I've heard some English learners do this and say something like, I will drop her at your house. And that's not right because that's just dropping something. You need drop off. The next idiom is drop the mic, which means to drop a microphone in a dramatic sort of way after doing something that you think is really impressive. Like, did you see him drop the mic after he finished the song? So, if this were a microphone, it'd just be finishing singing and I can't do it right without a real microphone and I just don't look as cool doing it. There's also going to be a new TV show on a channel called TBS that's called Drop the Mic. The fourth idiom for today with the word drop is wait for the other shoe to drop which means to wait for the next thing to happen. Usually it's something bad, as in the company's stock went way down. Now he's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Like maybe he's afraid he's going to lose his job because the company's not making very as much money anymore. Number five is drop the subject or drop it, which means to just don't talk about something anymore. You don't want to hear it like um, you're upsetting him too much. You should just drop the subject. Number six is to make someone's jaw drop, as in to make someone suddenly stop with their mouth open because of something you said that was shocking or surprising, as in um, his house was so big it made my jaw drop because maybe I didn't know he had a really big house. Number seven is to not touch a drop, like don't drink of any of something. As in, there's lemonade in the kitchen, but don't touch a drop of it. I made it for someone else. Number eight is drop a bombshell or drop a bomb. I think I've heard it more as drop a bombshell though, which means to suddenly tell someone something that upsets them a lot. As in, she dropped a bombshell when she told her family that she was moving to another country. Number nine is drop everything, which means to suddenly stop um, doing whatever you're doing as in, like, for an example, if the fire alarm goes off, you should drop everything and immediately go outside. Number 10 is drop someone's name, which means to mention a person or talk about someone who's famous or important as if you knew them and they were personal friends. Like, he's always trying to impress people by dropping the names of successful entre entrepreneurs, even if he only met them once. Number 11, and the last one for today, is drop behind or fall behind. It means to fail to keep up with a, um, a schedule that was set that you were supposed to follow. Like, he usually drops behind with his schedules, but eventually catches up. That's all for today's lesson, which was the second of two lessons about idioms with the word drop. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And down here, you can sign up to get free eBooks to get more help from me with learning English. And over there, you can watch more English lessons from you on YouTube. That's all for now. And remember, with hope, anything is possible.